do have another fish. I'm not sure what it is. guys <laughs> this is the first time trying this out and uh i'm not sure if it's gonna work it's definitely really heavy <laughs> so we're gonna give it a shot guys all right if i bust my butt man it'll be it'll be a funny 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 story all right i'm gonna go i'm here at the, at the long key so the, the where i'm going is pretty far and, and i don't think i can carry all that weight so i'm gonna try to use this scooter and uh, give this a shot, guys. Let's go. Ready to go fishing, man. Let's do it, guys. guys what's up i don't know if you can tell man but i'm pretty excited pretty happy to be out here again doing some uh keys fishing uh, part of keys fishing again in the bridges man and today is a special one man i i feel great uh, i came home came down home uh, down here to homestead to see my family spend some time with them for thanksgiving see my mother and uh you all know when i come down here down here to south florida I always got to find a day to take advantage and come out here to the bridges, man, to do some fishing in the Keys. And so what makes it special is that I actually was able to, my little brother, uh, my little brother was able to uh, get himself a scooter. Right here. <laughs> and it's, and it's, <laughs> he put a sticker on his, on his scooter. <laughs> and it's, man, it's awesome, man. I actually I loved it. It was, you, you guys saw when I was riding, I was just like, oh, man, this is so cool. I was able to pull that heavy, heavy load, man, and, and with no problem. That both things are powerful, I'll tell you that. And I could have gone as fast as I wanted to because, but I was just being cautious, man. I never rode one of them, and it was just, it was pretty, pretty cool. I lo actually loved it. And uh, I, wish I just got here setting up. It's about 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it's a beautiful day, man. You guys can see behind me. It's a beautiful day. The wind's a little strong, but we're going to make the best of it. And uh, the water's really clean, man. There's no... Uh, sea grass and it's not dirty as you can see it. It's blue, nice and blue, nice and beautiful. And I believe, uh, and I have a hope that we're gonna catch some dinner tonight, man. I have family, like I said, like I, said I have a family, and I gotta bring at least minimum ten fishes home. And I'll tell you, my uh, my mom's boyfriend, uh, he actually always joining me, so I have, so I'm so appreciative about that. He's always uh, sharing the expenses and and wakes up early as heck with me at four in the morning, and he's ready to go. So you know, appreciate him also. I want to mention my friend Daniel Cantu for let, for loaning me his little cart right here. It did the job, man. If you're watching the video, bro, it did the job. You see on the video, it, it did it, man. I came to the middle of the 
of the long uh, long key bridge and I made it fine. It was no there was no problem at all. That little cart worked fine. Thanks for letting me borrow it, man, on a short notice. And it was good seeing you again. Hopefully we can, hopefully we can get together and, uh, and 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 film again, you know. So, guys, I don't want to sit here and talk to you all day. So what I'm gonna do is get get going, set up, throw out, throw out some fishing rods, get this chum out. Oh, chum, guys, I got some chum. I actually got three or four. I think I got three blocks of chum. Uh, I, I I think I believe right now that the, at this time of year the yellow like, tail are running. So we're hoping to catch that, guys. Let's get going, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Appreciate you guys watching. I'm Alex, by the way. If you don't know me, Alex. Some people call me Vedmar. All right. All right, guys. So another little method that I've learned throughout the years, and also uh, I see some YouTubers actually doing it. I used to do it different, but um, uh, I figured this is the way. Uh, it's a lot easier. I I find one of those little crevices here, one of the joints from the from the from the railing, the, this concrete railing, or whatever you want to call it. And I just put it right in the middle, kind of keep it from, from spinning around like this. And I just tie it up and tie it in place like this. Real tight. It's got to be real tight because you get a big fish, man, and your drag is not loose enough. You're probably going to lose a rod. <laughs> so very simple. Just like that. Super solid. I'm going to go anywhere. And I go around the pipe. And just tie it real tight, man. Make sure it's really, really tight. That way it doesn't come loose and I lose my rod. And that's basically it, guys. Set this up as my rod holder. It's very convenient. You could actually see the rod bending better as, uh, as opposed to just leaning it against the leaning it against the against the edge here. And sometimes you can't see the the, the tip, you know, um, bending or seeing the bite. But I think this is a a good way. If you guys want to try this out, man, I recommend it. And I'm going to show, I'm going to show you a little bit how I put the rod on it. So it, 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 I think it works pretty well. And I've been doing that lately uh, when I remember to bring them. I'm always forgetting things, guys. But uh, so there you go, man. That's it. Let me pick the rod to show you guys. All right, guys. So like I was saying, once I have that set up and it's nice and tight, just do that. Simple. I mean, that's what I do for. I'll, I'll normally put like a whole, a whole ballyhoo. Just call, cut the, the, the bill off and cut the tail off, and just throw like the, like the plug from the ballyhoo, or just throw a whole squid. And if they're small squids, I'll just put two on the hook. This is like I think a number six size hook. And that's it, guys, for my mun setup. Uh, I'll show you in a bit my, my uh, yellow tail setup, which is a, a small little jigs, white jigs that I use. So let's get to it, guys, man. Let's, let's. I'm, I'm super. Uh, Super stoked! I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm, I feel good today, man. Then we're gonna do all right. I'm gonna fill up. We're gonna fill the cooler today, guys. Heck yeah! All right, let's get set up here. I always like to do this, man. Especially up here, where this bridge is pretty tall. Uh, I don't know. We get about, I would say, 40, 50 feet down. So definitely, it's a good idea to have your drop net ready. So this is what I, I do on every every occasion when I come to a bridge like that. I just let my line out like this just so i can be ready it can be ready to drop and don't have to deal with it deal with the line if it's tangled up all over the place you know so i kind of guesstimate like 45 50 feet that's how much that's how much i'm gonna how much lag i'm gonna give the line and go from there guys and uh i feel good today man i think we're gonna do pretty good um i'm I, and i'm looking for, i'm looking for this type of fish and hopefully it happens it's a little windy hopefully you guys can hear me well and uh mind the wind uh i'm looking for yellowtail uh i'm looking for some snapper uh maybe some mackerel obviously always some mud snapper you know you come to the bridges that's like the number one fish you want to catch and anything else that comes along man i have a family of 10 at home waiting for some fresh fish man so guys man i'm excited to be out here again in the keys man fishing out here Fishing down here, it's just, you know, it never gets old, man. It never gets old. Here we go, guys. About 50, 60 feet, actually. And that's all. Get that ready. Set up the poles. Man, did you guys see me riding that scooter? Oh, man, that was awesome. That was fun. Thanks to my little brother, Mike. Mike Velasquez, man, for letting me borrow it. 
kind of falling in love with it. It just it was just amazing getting to the center, middle of the bridge of the Long Key Bridge. And it, mind you, it's a long, long bridge. <laughs> I don't know. You can see way out there in the distance. Let's get it going, All guys. Right, let's get that first cast out there, man. This is a mud snapper setup. All right. Let's go. Here we go. All right. That's it. Make sure the drag is loose, but not too loose. As soon as I have this thing here holding the holding the rock. I think that's good. And that's it, guys. Let's wait for that bite, man. Let's wait for that snap for that big mun bite. All right. First, first rot is out in the water. Man, let's hope we catch something. All right, guys. So, uh. I hooked up, I don't know what it is. It's heavy though. <laughs> I hope it's a nice fish and not a chub or some trash fish. Just a grouper, just a grouper. A black grouper, I think. Just a black grouper, guys. All right. It's not that big, so I can get him out by my hand, but if it's just a little bigger, Probably throw the rock lid on it, but not that big. So, oh. it is pretty big. <laughs> it is pretty big, guys. First catch of the day for me. Happens to be a nice black grouper. There you go, guys. Check it out. First catch of the day. Nice as black grouper. I mean, I think a couple inches more it would have been legal. I don't even know if they're in season. Let me measure them real quick. Check if they're in season. And then I'll get back to you guys. Don't go anywhere. Subscribe. Hope you like my content. I'm giving it my heart and, and soul to this man. So I love doing it and I, I really like sharing it with you guys. So I'm, we're just waiting for the yellowtail, man. They haven't showed up. La Rabirubia. <laughs> So let me put this away. I mean, let me check them, check them if it's legal. Check the regulations on it, and then I'll be right back, guys. Nice black grouper. Heck yeah. All right, guys. So we've been waiting for a yellowtail, man. It's been about three hours, guys. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah. First yellowtail of the day, man. What? All right, I, they might be coming in finally. So let's measure this baby up and uh, see if we can catch some more, guys. This was a target of the species. Hey, I told you guys it was a good day. Oh, man, I'm happy, bro. <laughs> Heck yeah. Let me measure this guy up, guys. It's 11 inches. That's all right. We're missing an inch, but we know they're there now. So what I did, I went smaller on the bait. Real small pieces, real small hook. Uh, that little um, jig was not working because of the wind. It kept uh, the wind kept taking the the line to the right, and so I think I see a cobia down there. <laughs> I swear to God, I think I see a cobia. Oh man, and you know they're pretty far away. So first tail of the day, guys. Uh, first yellow tail of the day, guys. We just need a we just need a legal size one, and then oh man, my move would change from uh. From losing hope to happiness. There we go. There's the bite. Let me shake the chum a little bit. Oh, that was great, man. That was awesome. We just need a one. We just need one. A uh, couple of uh, legal size, and that'll be worth the trip, man. The only place I can catch yellowtail is either on the boat. Or uh, here in the bridge, up there where I moved to, up north, um, uh, Central Park, Florida, and the east side, you know, the Indian River and all that. I don't catch a lot of yellowtail. Well, I haven't even caught one there for three, four years. So if I can catch a couple of keeper ones here, it'll be such a treat, man. All right. Awesome. All right, guys, I hooked up again. I hooked up again. The bite is on. The bite is turned on. The bite has turned on. 
What is this? Oh, it's a baby mind snapper. Okay. Not a baby, but by no means it's illegal. But hey. That's it right there. It's got to be at least, it's probably 12 inches, and it's definitely uh, not legal. Swallowed the hook. So that means I got to cut the, cut the line close to the mouth. I'm not going to mess with his gills. Or keep him out of the water long. Uh, I love mud snapper, so... I'll respect the mud snapper and let him live, let him grow. All right. Now let's uh, retie. But the bike I just turned on, guys, we've been waiting for like an hour and a half, almost two hours. And it was it has been real slow, real slow. Had a couple grouper. My uh, my mom's uh, boyfriend has been catching ch chubs. And uh, I guess he wants to take him home or give him, give him away to his friends. And just that's perfectly fine. Uh, I don't think they have a size limit on chubs or, and he's having a good time catching them. He's catching like uh, 15, 17 inch uh, chubs. So, hey, he's having a good time. That's what matters. That's what fishing's all about, guys. I'm still looking for that yellowtail, man. We need to get some yellowtail. Some Ravi Rubias. Man. So, I'm happy again. I uh, My mood changed. I'm, we're getting bites again. Uh, not again. We're getting bites finally. I mean, I think uh, it has to do with the tide. It started moving a little faster. I started chumming a little bit of uh, shrimp heads. Just get, you know, just get them excited, man. All right, let's get, let's get going, guys. Well, all right, guys. I got hooked up again. It's a good one. Ah, right, it's a grouper. It's a grouper. I don't know. Come on. Drop net. La, 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 la net. I probably need a net for this one. I, got, I think I got another black grouper. It might be a little bigger. Yeah. We're going to have to get the drop net down on it because it's a little bigger. There you go. Got it? There you go. So, another black grouper. Hopefully it's a little bigger. I don't think it's quite the 24 inches, but it's, they're getting close, man. The second black grouper is big, guys. Ah. Uh, see how big this baby is. Uh, no. It's small, it's small. It's only, it looks like 16 inches, so. All right. Let me let this guy go, and I'll be back, guys. He's only 16 inches, not worth showing. I thought it was bigger. <laughs> All right, guys. We have another fish. I'm not sure what it is, but it sure is fighting heavy, though. It's a heavy one. Another grouper. Nope. It's a, oh! <laughs> Bring me the net, hey! Bring me the net, hey! It's a huge houseless. It's a huge houseless. Oh my God! Hurry up! Hurry up! Because I want to lose him. He's so big. Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. No, you gotta bring it down in the water. Put it in the water. No, bring it, bring it in. There you go. Down, down, down. And front and this side, this side, on this side. Hey, on this side of the fish, on this side of the fish. No, on the other side of the this side of the fish. Like this. Here, let me see. Hey, I got it. Let go, let go, let go. I got it, I got it. I got it, my friend. There you go, see? Just like that. He, he's not, uh, he really doesn't really ever net, so <laughs> he's not experienced with the net, but we got him. Wait until you guys see this. This hogfish, man. Holy smokes! That's a price fish. What kind of that's fish? a, yep. Uh, that's, a, uh, huh? that's what it is, a hogfish. And it's big, right? I don't know. It's a I monster. Never see, I never see it. Look how big that sucker is. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Son of a biscuit. Look at that monster! Oh my god! That's a prized fish, a very prized fish. But look how big it is! Oh my god! Yes. Yeah, but it's way legal. It's past legal. It is a monster, guys. Where do you guys see this thing? 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. First time, a uh, personal best, Hoffers. Personal best. You don't look at that, guys. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing, man. Look at my body. Look at the hogfish. No. Since I don't really catch them a lot, look at that big mouth, guys. Since I don't really catch them a lot, catch them a lot, I'm, I'm not. I don't know exactly the regulations for them, but I know it's it's a legal size, big time. It's past legal, but I want I want to make sure it's in season, so I'm gonna check off fish reels right quick. So you guys, I'll be back, guys. Let me do that real quick because because if it's not in season, I gotta throw them back fast. I don't like to have fish out of the water too long. But look at this look at the mouth of this hogfish, guys. Look how big it is. This is a this is a I never in my life I've caught some hogfish. I'm not gonna lie to you, but I never caught something this huge. What a prize fish. I am this is, Guys, I'm so happy guys. I know you guys are happy for me. Look at this man. Woo! Yeah. Guys, so uh, it ended up being close to 19 inches. It was like 18, 7, 8, something like that. Almost 19 inches. But unfortunately the season is closed. I just checked and I don't want to say I don't want to keep them out of the water too long. And I released them fine, it was awesome. But I'm still so happy that it's my personal best hogfish ever. I mean, almost a 19 inch hogfish, man. Awesome, awesome, guys. Too bad it was uh, the season's closed, but man, still what a fight and what a what a mouth on that thing, man. You guys, that that made worth the trip. Made the trip worth it. Now I'm just gonna fish, see if I can catch my keeper yellowtail. I uh, haven't seen any yellow, uh, yellow jacks that I, I also wanted to catch. I know the mackerel, mackerel, mackerel are running. I, I'm not targeting them right now, but uh, I think an hour, two hours before I get ready to go, I'm gonna start throwing some spoons with a um, with a with a with a with a egg sinker, and just kind of just uh rid it in real fast and try to catch a couple mackerel, just just for uh, for fun. But uh, I wanted to catch obviously yellowtail, yellow jacks, fish, fish that I no normally don't catch anymore when, since I moved up up uh, up there by uh, Indian River. So, guys. Hope you, I hope you guys are liking the video. Uh, let's keep on fishing. Let's hope we get uh, even better fish and some keepers, man. But me, I'm already stoked. I had a great time. Uh, it was just awesome, man. I also saw a humongous bull shark around, so that's why the bite hasn't been all that great. I'm surprised I was able to bring that hogfish in. But other than that, man, uh, fishing ain't too bad. Got some groupers, uh, the hogfish. Um, uh, small yellow tail, so it's, the fishing is okay. I'm, I'm not gonna complain at all. Just would definitely like some uh, keeper fish to take home. All right, guys, let's get fishing. Let's keep can you keep on fishing, man. All right, guys, so the fishing continues, man. And uh, I didn't get any luck with uh, with the yellow tail, but I guess I'm gonna start. I switched up to, to, to I saw a bunch of mackerel, so. I'm just gonna start uh, catching Max. There you go. Because <laughs> the yellow tail was not working. And we got like an hour and a half left before we have to go home. I have a party to go to tonight with the wife. And uh, I just figured, you know what? Uh, yellow tail ain't around. They just ain't around. After the uh, catching that nice hog and uh, the hogfish and a couple of groupers, you know, I really we don't have any fish to take home, but, but two. Uh, Chubs that my my, uh, my mom's boyfriend uh, caught, but uh, but there's a bunch of mackerel, man. So I'm just gonna be throwing this lure for a while, and just hopefully I catch a bunch of mackerel and take home. At least I have to take some fish home, and uh, the trip will be uh won't be like a kind of like a bus, you know. There you go, guys. Let me, let's catch some mackerels. And I have they do have a little wire on it because they're hungry, they're crazy out there. And I also have a little split shot to bring it down a little bit lower because the, the current is a little, the tide is moving a little fast. So hey, first mackerel, guys. Awesome. I'm going to bleed them. I don't want you guys to see this part. I'm going to bleed the fish. And then I'm going to pull away. And just keep catching them, guys. All right. Kind of have a little fun, huh? All right, guys. So towards the end of the day. <laughs> keep a yellow tail, baby. Keep a yellow tail. Finally, after four hours, almost five hours, man, of fishing. 12 and a half, keep a yellow tail. Oh yeah, let's keep going, man. We have another 30 minutes. I'm gonna see if I can uh, delay 
my uh, day night with my wife and <laughs> staying a little longer because they're starting to buy now, finally, the, 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 the bigger ones. Yes, sir. Woo! Guys, thanks for watching, man. You made it this long. It's worth it's worth watching this long. Look at that. We we finally got our, our uh, targeted species, the yellowtail. All right, keys, baby. Yes, sir. Okay, what do we got here? What do we got here, man? What do we got here? I don't know, man. Keep fighting it, man. You got it. You got it. What do you think it is? An another ch chub or a, or a mon snapper, yellowtail? It's a it's a grouper. Oh, it went into the rocks. It's a grouper, man. Come on, you got him. It's a, oh, it's a, it's a baby Goliath. Yep. Okay, it's a baby Goliath. All right, false alarm, false alarm. There you go. All right, all right. It's yeah, it's heavy. I mean, it looks little from up here, but it's probably bigger than, than what you really think. Watch when you bring him out, it's gonna be bigger. You got him, you got him. Slowly, slowly. There you go. You got him. Oh, see? <laughs> see, it's a little bigger than you thought, see? <laughs> it's a big one, eh? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> well, yeah. second catch of the day. He also caught a chub. And he, you know, he, he, I mean, a lot of people consider it a trash fish, but he said he wants to take it. He's going to fry it up. So I'm not going to stop him from doing it. And obviously, we're going to release the Goliath. But he got his big chub right here. It's about, I don't know, 16, 17 inches. <laughs> Guys, this is the end of the video. I really appreciate you guys watching it. I also want to apologize for the audio. I was having a hard time with one of my mics, but I still wanted to share this video with you guys. I had a great time making this video. I had a great time fishing, and, and I had a great time um, filming this content. Uh, here are my social medias. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, I'm going to list them here. Uh, Till next time, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys later. Ski you!